Hi everybody. In today's episode of Ask David, I'm going to answer the question, what type of medium format camera should I get? Hey David, what medium format camera should I choose as my first medium format camera? There's a lot of considerations in that. Budget, aspect ratio, camera interface. Those are probably the three biggest. Before buying, you should probably get to know a little bit about the aspect ratios. The easiest way to do that is to take your existing camera, be it digital or film, in 35 millimeter and force yourself for about six weeks, four, four weeks to six weeks, to use it regularly and shoot every picture in the aspect ratio of the medium format camera you're looking at. If you're looking at 645, you don't have to do anything. It's got the same aspect ratio as 35 millimeter. If you're gonna look at six by six, then force yourself right off the bat before you do any other processing to crop every single image to a square. When you take the picture, imagine it as a square. You want your end results to be equally across and up and down. That's the six by six format. When you have done that for a month or six weeks, you'll find out whether or not you're comfortable using that format. It's a much different compositional structure and technique than is standard 35 millimeter. Also try six by seven. The three most common medium format cameras are 645, six by six, and six by seven. 6x7 is a little bit different than the 35 millimeter aspect ratio. You can enlarge 6x7 up to 8x10 without cropping. That's not true for 645 and 35 millimeter and 6x6. 6x7 six. Six has its own interesting compositional structures and, and uh, aspect ratio benefits. So again, after you've shot 6x6 six six for four to six weeks, spend four to six weeks shooting just six by seven on your 35 millimeter or digital camera. If you feel comfortable structuring images that way, if you like the results of the images you're getting in six by six or six by seven, one or the other more than the other, start off with that format. Now, once you've picked the format that you want, there are a couple of different types of medium format cameras that are primarily available. The smallest, lightest, easiest to use is a standard TLR which you look through the top, through this lens, and then everything in this lens is what turns into the picture. The next option for medium format cameras is an SLR style medium format camera like the Pentax 6x7 II, and it works just like a standard 35 millimeter or DSLR, SLR camera. We look through the lens, or look through the viewfinder, see what's coming into the lens, take the picture, the mirror flips up, the image is exposed, and then you go about, about your business taking the next picture. There's also a different type of SLR, the RB67. It's, it's, a, it's an SLR, but it's a different interface. It's really interesting to use. It feels a lot like using a TLR until you actually take the picture. So those are your typical types of interfaces. There are some others. There are our accordion type, monorail type, medium format cameras. They handle like large format cameras you're probably not gonna to wanna to jump right into one of those. But once you know what format you like, then you have options in the, in the six by six of getting a TLR or an SLR, and the six by seven of what type of SLR you would like to get, Mamiya type or a Pentax type. More important than the make of the camera is the aspect ratio and how comfortable you are shooting in that aspect ratio.